tired of the CTA stuff, man. You know I called the travel agency, and they said the bus was gonna be here two hours ago. Man, they said they was coming in 30 minutes, an hour ago. Man, I tried to spit on the ground, spit, bro, and be out. Man, that's nothing. Yesterday, I was waiting on the bus for two hours. And then it was like, I saw a bunch of crazy stuff. Like, this old guy beat up some young kids with a cane. And then I saw a fat guy, he was drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> that's, man, that's nothing. This homeless man asked me for some change. And he had the newest Jordans on. And I'm looking at my feet, like, I got like the old Jordans on. Then this man, I gave him the change. He drove away in his Mercedes van to the gas station. Man, the CTA is messed up right now. It's preposterous. I'm sorry. Hey, man. In the summertime, though, I was running a little late. You know, I had to get to work or whatever. So I'm running. It was so hot that my sweat was literally sweating, man. I'm talking about, like, super hot. But I'm running to catch the bus. And I'm flagging down the bus driver, and he just go right past me, man. No respect. Man, I ain't never riding a CTA ever again. Hey, man, that go to bus, man. When taking the CTA, I feel it depends. Like at night, I feel like I don't feel safe because I have to be aware of my surroundings because it's bad things going on, gangs, um, people, crazy people. But when taking it at day, I feel more safer because I mean it's day, it's bright. You can see, you know, you can see your surroundings and stuff, and people are more, um, more out. People are like there's a lot of people around you. Sometimes the service is really good. Um, let me see. It's, it has a lot of um, stops. It's accessible to everyone, so that's what I think. When I take the CTA in the morning, it's packed. It's, you have to wait for about three more buses to come in order to get on it, so it could be enough space to even stand on it. And then at night, it's dark, so you know you got to be cautious. I feel, sometimes I feel kind of scared because it's a lot going on on the CTA. The worst thing I've seen or heard while taking the CTA, well, people tell their whole life story on it. And I've seen fights. I've seen a guy take crystal meth. What do I think is good about the CTA? Well, for one thing, if you work in or going to school, it's more convenient because, you know, you get bus stops right there in front of school and then other places like, let's say, you know, like the major events, I say like um, the Taste, for example, is one, Millennium Park is another, or if you're trying to go to the library, you know, you got the train that, it, that you ride off down. Uh, I think there are a lot of things that are good about the CTA. It's quick, it's easy, uh, you can pretty much get anywhere you need to around town. It's relatively cheap, um, it cuts down on fuel emissions around the city. Can you tell us about the longest you ever waited for a bus or a train? Um, approximately about an hour. An hour, yes. How do you feel about the fares? Well, I don't like it, but it's progress. Two dollars? You ain't taking me across the world. Come on, man. You taking me a couple blocks away. I think it should be a dollar. My opinion is that I think they should loan because they already had enough. And if you're trying to go to one place and it ain't that far, I don't think you should pay the full two dollars because that's too much. But why should we pay four dollars to get on one bus ride? It makes no sense. My opinion about raising the fares is I think it's a total rip-off. Honestly. I think it's really a total rip-off. Cause if you think about it, everybody gotta use the CTA every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for somebody just to raise two dollars, I mean, that's taking money out your pocket for the week. Especially if you only got $10 to get through the week or something, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's tragic. And then, one way, that's crazy. I heard that they might be raising the fares, and I think that's the wrong way to go. I think that 
CTA is a resource for poor folks, for working class folks, for working people. Yeah. And the last thing that working people right, need right now is to pay more money for something that's a right. My opinion about the CTA Raising Affairs is that I think it's wrong because most people don't have that much money to pay like more than two dollars for a bus ride. I would like the people who run it to realize how important it is and it's not just the last resort for people who don't have cars, that it should be world class. It's important. Crucial. <laughs> I'd make the Brown Line run 24 hours and have more trains in the morning, I guess. I wish they'd expand everything so more people could ride. Because if you're downtown at like uh, rush hour, you have to wait like three or four trains before you can actually get on the train. Yo, Chicago's a cold city, Chicago's a hot city. The longer you gotta wait for a bus, that's more time that you're either getting frostbite or sunburn. So what we need is reliable transportation, regular buses that aren't polluting and that are regular and reliable. I believe CTA can improve upon, you know, um, the how long the buses run, because it's not enough buses on each line. You wait about a good 30 minutes for another bus to come and then when they come they're packed so you still gotta wait some more. Improvements CTA can make. They could put more buses on um, on the bus routes because some of them take extremely too long and when, you, when they do come you'll expect a whole bunch of people to be on the bus but it'd be so empty. So I'm like what was you doing all this time? Improvements that CTA can make is making the trains more cleaner and um, that can improve on protection.